Hello friends, welcome to Simple Makeatronics. In the Omni Robo Part 1, the movement of four wheels are programmed in a fixed loop. Now, the free pins of the Arduino Mega are used for other controls. Here, a suitable, double-sided PCB is used to access the free pins of the Arduino Mega board. A double row Berg strip is used for end pins and single row Berg strips for side pins. Then, place the PCB above the pins with Berg strips and solder them as shown. Now, we can access the pins of Arduino Mega using Berg strip pins on the PCB conveniently. Now, the bottom pins on the PCB are used for basic input and output. Here, an RGB LED and a button switch are connected to the bottom pins. Now, place the PCB in its position carefully. Then, connect the USB cable to the Arduino Mega board for programming. Now, open OmniRobo NRFRX.ino sketch file using Arduino IDE. Then, click on Tools menu. Then, select Arduino Mega board and Arduino port. Here, you may observe the if condition for the self-test of the OmniRobo. Then, compile the sketch. Finally, upload to Arduino Mega board. Actually, all the wheels should rotate for right turn. This will help in identifying wrong connections, if any. Stop power supply and make the connections right to have right rotation of the OmniRobo as shown here. Here, by pressing the button, the program enters into the self-test mode. Now, in step 2, the OmniRobo is controlled wirelessly, using a joystick shield for Arduino to move in all the directions and rotations as shown in step 1. Here, Arduino joystick shield is selected for making wireless input module. The joystick shield has six digital buttons and four directional analog joystick. It also has slot for NRF24L01, useful for wireless communication. Another NRF24L01, as wireless communication module, has to be fitted on the PCB as receiver. Now, an Arduino Uno board is used to make wireless command transmitter module. Now, place the joystick module on the Arduino board, carefully, as shown. Then, connect Arduino board to your computer, or laptop, using USB cable. You may observe the power indicator LED glows on the Arduino board. Now, open OmniRobo NRFTX.ino sketch file, using Arduino IDE. Then, click on Tools menu. Then, select Arduino Uno board. Then, compile the sketch. Then, upload the sketch to the Arduino Uno board used for transmitter module. Here, another LED is connected across the pins A2 and ground with about 2.2K as series resistor. When you connect power supply to the Arduino board, the LED starts blinking as status indicator. Then, connect NRF24L01 to the Arduino board after disconnecting power supply. And, using slide switch, select 3.3 volts on Arduino board for NRF24L01. Now, the transmitter module is ready. Then, use two row 8 pin Berg strip for NRF24L01. Now, plan to position it suitably on the PCB. Both the NRF24L01 are paired for wireless communication. The Berg strip pins are soldered on the PCB as per the circuit diagram. Since the NRF24L01 requires 3.3 volts power supply, an external pin is soldered for VCC. Now, match and insert the PCB in its position on Arduino Mega carefully. Then, connect 3.3 volts from Arduino board to the PCB for NRF24L01. Soldering a 0.1 microfarad capacitor across the NRF24L01 power supply pins improves signal reception. Then, insert NRF24L01 in its position, carefully, as planned. Now, switch on the power supply. The RGB LED blinks for a while, waiting for self-test. 
Now the Omni Robo is ready to receive command. Here a 9 volts battery is used as power supply for the transmitter module. Now the Omni Robo is tested for movements controlled by the joystick in all the directions including clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. The control may be tested within 2 meters range. The range may be improved by adjusting the source code. More current is required for NRF24L01 for more distance of control. Please press like button if you like this video. Subscribe Simple Makeatronics for access to more projects. And share with your friends about Simple Makeatronics. And don't forget to write your opinion about the project in comments. In the part 3, necessary additions are made on Omni Robo as a model firefighter. Thanks for watching the video. More explanation and circuits are available at Simple Makeatronics website. Links for other projects are available at description below. Bye friends, see you in the next video.